Hey guys and girls, welcome back to YYC Designs Custom RC Creations. For those of you who are here to get your fuel lines undone, no, you're not in the wrong place. It just happens to be that I am a custom radio controlled vehicle builder. Yeah, I build pickups, I build, build four wheel drive crawlers, I build boats, all RC, all scaled down versions. That's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're here to talk about stuck on fuel and AC lines that you got to use that special little X tool or the little plastic slip over the line tools to get them off. Now when they're new they probably work really great but guess what I'm driving an 03 Ford F350 Lariat Dually 4x4. This thing has been through mud this thing has been through salt this thing has been through all manner of crap and corruption on this planet and guess where it ended up right in there on the fuel line plugging it all up okay twist all you got to do is clean it out they'll come off real easy right wrong they didn't they were stuck on there like they were freaking welded okay so i used brake cleaner to clean it all out I put some WD-40 in there to try and dissolve a little bit of the rust I even used some um, LP3 from my firearms it's a lubricant anti-rust inhibitor or rust inhibitor not an anti-rust inhibitor otherwise it would grow rust like crazy wouldn't it it's a rust inhibitor but it also breaks down rust very very well I sprayed it all up inside there with the little hose on the end of the spray can. Clean them all out. The buggers still wouldn't come off. I was seven and a half hours into this job and all I had to do was remove four fuel lines and three friggin' bolts, okay? This should have been an hour tops. So, I think I'm doing something wrong. I go onto YouTube, I see a million other guys and girls having the same frickin' problem I'm having, so this is why the video. This is the little hack that I learned all by myself, okay? So you got your little plastic tool or your little metal X tool with the flange on it here, okay? This nice little tool. And this piece is supposed to come in and stick underneath these tabs, right? You got four little tabs inside of this tube here, okay? And they're just four little spring metal tabs, one, two, three and four now they need to bend back like that and clear that little ridge right there and then they pop right off I got the tool in there I'm wiggling I'm pulling I'm inside the left frame rail my front drive shaft is close enough that I can't get my hands or any tools in there to yank on the line with nothing Right, all I can do is slide a hand over top of the transmission cross member to try and get three fingers on this frickin' line and or these lines and pull them off. It wasn't happening. Okay, so here's the little trick I used. I'll get to the point. I put I have the X tool, the metal one, you know, that fits four different lines all in one tool. Okay, I got it on there, I put it into place, and then I took a tack hammer and I tapped it in there. Now, I was pretty gentle, okay? I'm not talking using brute force here. I'm talking use some frickin' common sense. Don't be an animal. Put the tool in there, give it a nice little tap, make sure it's seated properly so you don't bugger up your fuel lines because they're goddamn expensive here in Canada at least. They're money you don't need to be spending. Just get your tool lined up, get it in there, and if they come off, great. If they don't, and you're like me, and you're struggling and struggling with the things, here's the hack. Put your tool on where it has to go, right in here, so that this little piece comes inside and pushes on these tabs. And it's going to push them back like the arrows show, okay? to clear your ridge okay then take a pair of small now I'm talking I have a pair of six inch 
needle nose vice grips okay that's why this tool is right here this is this is your vice vice grips okay now what I did was I took my vice grips and I locked it on right behind the tool okay now I'm not going to damage my tool and I'm not going to damage the fuel line because I'm not putting it on hard enough to crush the line just enough to grip it solidly so that it can't spring back that way okay just enough to grab give take your tack hammer tap on this part of your vice grips or as close as you can to your fuel line tap it in there and it literally is enough it will just pop the fuel line off the ridge just a tiny bit take your vice grips off take your special little tool off and use your tack hammer and just on the edge of your fuel line this piece here right there that I just colored in black just give it a light little don't be an animal just a light little tap and it will pop right off so that you can use your fingers pull it off the rest of the way and you're home free installation is the reverse of removal so when you go to put it back on line it up keep it square and push it back on until you hear the little tabs all click and when you hear the clicks wiggle it around try to hear four clicks some of them are going to happen simultaneously you guys have got brains you're gonna know but make sure all your tabs are seated the other deal is is here this is inside of this tube okay that's what i'm trying to show you all here there's an o-ring in here make sure this is clean crap and corruption free make sure the o-ring is undamaged you can replace them by the way these little clips will actually pop out with a mechanics pick and you can pop them out and change that o-ring if need be so make sure that your fuel line is in good condition before you put it on otherwise you're going to have a fuel leak okay so there you go there's my hack you're welcome to it. I know it's not rocket science. It's just a small little hack I learned because my fuel lines have been on for 14 years. They were all schmutzed up. And like I said, they're like they were welded on. I didn't have any other choice. And this is a way to get them off without damaging the fuel line or the tool or the pump. Because the other part of my hack here is when guys say you need to replace your fuel, your fuel pump, Please, people, these things, that big silver aluminum box looking affair that holds your fuel filter and your pump is the horizontal fuel control module. The fuel pump is inside it. It is a separate piece. They will try to sell you the whole HFCM. You can buy the pump for a third of what the HFCM is going to cost you. The pump is replaceable. Let me do a little quick drawing here and I'll get out of your hair. Okay, here is your horizontal fuel module, control module. Your filter with its cap screws in right here. Yeah, there's your filter, yeah? Here is your pump on this end and it comes right in and that's what your filter slides over top of. This is the piece you need to replace this piece right here you do not need to replace this whole control module just like when you change a filter you change the pump you leave the control module there in this case you got to take the fuel module out and replace the pump that's why you get undo your lines but at least in Canada that whole fuel module from Ford is over a grand online best price I could find on it was 756 bucks I paid 246 dollars for my fuel pump from uh, diesel parts Canada if you want comment in the comments section down below please I will give you the part number and I will shoot you a link to diesel parts Canada they are great. They even sent me a chocolate bar with my part. It was fantastic. It was like a little Christmas gift. Okay, so you only need to replace the pump is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't have to replace the whole 
HFCM for like over a grand. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, that HFCM at Diesel Parts Canada is $756, I believe it was. So $750 and change. The pump, again, $240, bucks, 246 bucks and change. And available separately, guys and girls. This is Twist from YYC Designs, Custom RC Creations. If you like the video and if you're into RCs, guys and girls, please subscribe. We'd be happy to have you join us on our journey. If you're not and you're into welding and, and some hacks, I do a lot of that in my RC videos too. And hey, get into the RC hobby. Get outside. You might enjoy it. You know, RCs are a lot of fun for those of y'all who don't do RCs. End of my commercial. But if you like the video, please like it and share it and subscribe. Thanks very much, guys, girls. Have a great rest of the life. If I don't ever hear from you again, talk to you. This has been Twist with YYC Designs, Custom RC Creations.